Shalom. There are two English words, arrogance and pride, that, uh, that seem to be exactly the same thing. But in Hebrew, they're two different concepts. And in, in philosophy, they're two different concepts. And they teach us a difference when it comes to how to treat other people. The idea is as follows. When it comes to uh, arrogance and pride, what's the difference between them? Pride is in our relationship to God. If I'm proud and I think to myself, you know what? In comparison to God, I'm something special. I'm not God. I'm not even near how, as great as God is. But I'm pretty special. When I, if you one looks at the universe, looks at the world around them, and they think there's still something significant about them, that's pride. Now, we should all have self-esteem. Don't get me wrong. But we should recognize our place in the world and our place in relation to God. Arrogance is how we treat other people. That doesn't relate to how we think of ourselves, but rather when I talk to somebody else, if I don't treat them with respect, if I'm not humble in front of them, if I say to them, I'm better than you, and you act that way, that's, ar act, that's acting arrogantly. Both of these concepts are not okay according to Torah. In both senses, I can know, let's say that I'm the best basketball player on the court, but I shouldn't convey that to other people. I shouldn't have the attitude or even give off the impression that I think that I'm, I'm greater than, than everybody else. I could say to the coach, hey, give me the ball. I think I have a greater chance of hitting the shot. But I shouldn't say that to my teammates looking around and saying, I'm better than all of them. And when it comes to my relationship with God, I shouldn't think to myself, you know what? God's lucky to have me. Or I am pretty significant. Even Moshe and Avram described themselves as dust of the earth, as the lowest of the low. They realized they were special. They realized that in comparison to the people around them, they were greater than them. But compared to God, not even close. Shalom.